That'll work. Y'all, I think Josie's going to be a blacksmith. She has watched every single episode so far. <laughs> I forget. On uh, up to season four of Forge and Fire. So we're going to get a forge going for her in the future. I told her I wanted one out here for making tools. And <laughs> if she builds it, she's going to probably build it to her specifications now, not mine. I don't know if I told y'all, but I do have, I've got two anvils. One that uh, my friend Sean Thompson gave me. It's broken at the waist. And then I've got my great, great granddaddy's old anvil. I don't think I told you guys that, this, but uh, he had a blacksmith shop and it sat right here. Back in the back in the turn of the century anyway and even though I'm no blacksmith I always valued his um, anvil along with he's got a blower my dad's got over there dad uh, broke a, a gear in it I need to take a look at that Try to make another one. We will be ramming this here in a couple hours. This stuff is guaranteed ready to use in 30 minutes. I've got to make a flange plate, a new one for that. The other one on my old burner was cupped really bad. And we're going to do this one a little differently. Uh, Sands and Koski give me some ceramic fiber board use that as a gasket in between the furnace and the, the burner You gotta make sure it gets good and tight up under each one of these little bolts. We don't want any of that getting loose. Gotta make sure we get that good and packed. Once I start seeing water coming up to the surface, I'll add more to it. You gotta work this fast though, because uh, the, uh, that and the vat is gonna dry out soon. We don't want that. Right, so I'm starting to see a little moisture coming to the surface. We decided to put the other furnace on hold for it and get this one finished. We've got to get it going. We got we gotta get both of them going. <laughs> but uh this one is 95% there. So we're gonna go ahead and finish it out. We'll go back. I don't want to get reckless with the small one and then screw it up. So this won't take as long to dry or cure we're gonna have to mix up a little more not much probably about 20 more pounds to top this off I have just the right amount of water in this the 
This is working out perfect. Yep. As we keep ramming it, we're making it more dense below and the hydraulic pressure of the water is getting squeezed to the surface. Nice and wet up here. That's what I'm looking for. If it doesn't develop that wet sheen on the surface as you keep doing this, you're gonna have dry spots down below. It'll crumble on you. get this mudded to the surface and then we're gonna mix up about 10 more pounds I think that should be enough so it doesn't dry out on the surface and I can take this dead gum mask off that's what it's gonna look like on the very top when we're done and I got a leak That'll stop it. Still leaking down there. I didn't want to get too carried away with the water on this last amount. Because what will happen is you'll end up pouring more refractory in there to thicken the batch up. And I don't want to waste any more than I have to. we got enough to do that big furnace. And uh, it's always, I used to be bad about it. Get just enough. <laughs> and then find out I have to go back to Birmingham. Luckily, I'm only leaking water in one spot. Get this round and then I gotta ship some straight edges before the post office closes. I am shipping out some more today. Uh, we are getting dangerously low on inventory on those. So uh, as soon as we get this going, I think one of the things we need to do is uh, go ahead and crank, get another batch of those cast. I have just enough. It's gonna work out pretty good. Now I got one last step to do to this one, and that's round the bottom for it, and we will do that Thursday. I'm gonna leave this sealed up tight for uh couple days and then from there I will start taking all this loose I had an opportunity to drop a very nice buck this morning I had my choice between two of them. And, you know, I, I enjoy watching those dudes roam the field too much to kill them. I wish my neighbors felt the same way. One of them come by a while ago and said, Is it okay if I run the dogs back there on the other place? You don't mind me coming through here to do it, do you? And I said, well... Last time I had somebody say that, they ended up bringing half of Rankin County over here to hunt. And uh, so we had to break that up. Pay attention to that leak down there and try to put some more. You know what? It's still leaking. So let's put some more silicone on there. 
with all the refractory I got mixed, worked out perfect. That same glossy texture all over, and we will cover it up. All right. This project is done until we get to the bottom. I'm going to make sure I don't have any, and I still do. Son of a gun. Use your wife's favorite saran wrap. Here we don't have any leakage. Well, finally got the lid round up. Maybe by the end of this week, uh, we will have a fire going in it. centered up that silicone will cook right off of there when we get ready This is just a piece of PVC pipe, and what I'll do when I uh, when I get ready to take it out, I'll probably end up having to uh, burn it out. Just burning my eyes. I always do this in a well ventilated area, guys. Unlike what I'm doing here. Now, for the uh, dome, we're going to use my wife's finest china. It should be dry enough here in a few hours to go ahead and ram up. 
All right, guys, I am going to center this best I can on this surface. And I'm going to put some silicone around that. And we should be ready to round this up. that'll do so I wrapped some of this uh, flashing around it and taped it off and made a cylinder so this is going to be one exposed uh, block it's not going to have a metal shell around it when we finish this so this has been setting uh, for about two days now and I'm going to go ahead and take it off and see how this looks if it's still soft, which it isn't, looks good. That means uh, tonight, when I get ready to ram the small furnace, I can also ram the bottom of this. Oh, yeah. All right, so let me get something to dump that sand in or... I won't hear the end of it. About as dry as it's going to get, I think. scripts this will work I'm gonna go ahead and bump this out I'm putting something up under the lid here as I tap it out Hear that wind. Alrighty. That's good enough. Alright, guys, I'm going to use a masonry bit uh, from the outside. I had tried to pull this out. I was hoping it was going to pull out uh, with pliers because I had several different sleeves of paper wrapped around each other prior to pouring this refractory where that should just slide right out. And, you know, it didn't. I'm going to run a uh, masonry bit through that. Let's see, jackhammer. Yeah. So 
So I'm going to put a torch on this and heat that pipe up, that PVC. It's going to stink. <laughs> but uh, that would be my easiest, easiest way to get that out, I think. It's super windy outside. Oh, man, this is going to stink. Luckily, all the smoke, the toxic mess is going to the ceiling. <laughs> That's not working like... I had hoped. Right, so we're looking down in the bottom. I got to get in there and get uh, the rest of that silicone out. That could uh, possibly create some problems. As I've said, you don't want to ram refractory your your tops, your cylinders. Uh, on the side you don't want to do any of that with any porous surface the bottom of this is going to be porous but i've never had problems with the bottom failing on me so i'm not worried about it we're gonna have to mix a little more i think before we are uh, done with this i'm trying to run this drier than i would normally do Saturday, which is the day you're going to be seeing this video. I'm planning on actually firing both of these up and vitrifying them, which you'll see on the next video. put some saran wrap down in that but we'll wait and do all that at one time uh, yeah just making sure I can uh, get all the way around it flimsy <laughs> setup I got going on it and I don't want to break my wife's favorite heirloom here very old her family brought over to this country from Germany Now, as I told you the, uh, a while ago on the straight edges, if uh, we've we've been on uh, we've been lucky so far, we've had enough on inventory, but we're fixing to run out. It looks like by next week. So if you order any, uh, keep in mind we're down until I get this thing up and running. Take uh, about two weeks for um, I've got everything proofed out. 
keep in mind anytime you build a furnace you have to play around with the settings and everything else to figure out what's the most efficient burn That's it. I hate these tape dispensers. Fixed up there just a little bit more. I'd say that is good enough. All right, my friends, this is uh, the end of the furnace making videos other than the testing part of it, which will be next week. I'm not gonna be able to show unwrapping this before this video gets out. I don't like pulling the forms on this stuff for at least 48 hours and it's already Thursday night. I still have to edit video if I'm gonna put it out. In next week's video, I will show where I left off here up to the testing of the burners. Looks like I finished up at a decent time tonight. It's only 8.30. I got some time to watch Doc Martin. So, anyway, hope y'all have a great week, and I'll talk to you later.